how concerned are you about what you do right now uh, may have to change if Donald Trump is reelected? Well, it won't change. I am not. I am concerned, certainly. I think that it would be so un-American if he were to come after people who are speaking out against him. Whether you're talking about democracy, you can even look over the past week where Donald Trump's talking about arresting his political opponents. Yeah. Uh, he pressured, tried to pressure Disney uh, because of your trying jokes. To, he believes CBS should have their license revoked. Because he doesn't like how they edited a 60 Minutes package. How concerned are you? Yes, this media can never give up. Now there is a new one. I don't know if you've seen it. When you take a look at articles like this, you can clearly see what the media is up to. Atlantic released an article where, oh, they are now attributing Trump to Hitler. He want to hire generals like that man. And this hit piece is everywhere. I don't know what is going on. They thought doing this at this time will affect him like never before. When you take a look at the polling market and some polls, nothing has changed. It has backfired. When I look at this, Harris called Trump reported remarks on Hitler Nazi deep troubling. In fact, all the articles just says Trump, you will see everywhere, you know, disturbing articles about him. It is not even surprising. Now looking at Jimmy, according to him, if Trump is re-elected, he will do this, he will arrest him, things like that. Totally insane. When Trump was there, Jimmy was doing this every day. Nothing changed. So it is now when Trump is coming in, he will just go after Jimmy. Unacceptable. So just to be clear, when you said we do agree, President Biden believes that Donald Trump is a fascist. I, I mean, yes. We have said, he said himself. Um, is the president um, aware of John Kelly's assertion that Donald Trump uh, meets the definition of a fascist um, and that Trump wanted the kinds of generals Hitler had? I mean, look, you have heard uh, from this president over and over again about the threats uh, to democracy. And the president has spoken about that. You've heard from the former president himself saying that he is going to be a dictator on day one. This is him, not us, this is him. And it's not just all, it's not just us, the White House saying this. Uh, you've heard it from officials, former officials that worked for the former president say this as well. So, you know, do we agree? I know that the, the vice president just spoke about this. Do we agree about that determination? Yes, we do, we do. Uh, let's not forget, I will point you to January 6th. What we saw on January 6th. Talk to me about your level of interest in the, the, the criminal charges and so forth. Uh, February 6th? January, January 6th. Um, so I remember that day. I know he was the standing president. Um, I'm not familiar with the charges that are being brought against him for that. I don't, I'm not following that charge or the, I know there's multiple court cases going on. I'm just not familiar with it. I mean, that doesn't sound like it's going to be a factor in deciding who to vote for. No. Okay, so yes, as the day is approaching and panning is taking these people over, Tom responded, Thank you for your support against a total degenerate name, John Kelly, who made up a story out of pure Trump, tedious hatred. This guy had two qualities which doesn't work well together. He was tough and dumb. The problem is his toughness mob into weakness because he became jello with time. The story about the soldier was a lie. As are numerous other stories he told, even though I should not be wasting my time with him, I always feel it is necessary to hit back in pursuit of the truth. John Kelly is a low life and a bad general whose advice in the White House I no longer saw it and told him to move on. His wife once told me at Camp David, John admires you tremendously and when he leaves the military, he will only speak well of you. I said, thank you. That is Trump responding to all this claim that they put out about him. But why now? That is a question a lot of people are asking. This guy is nuts. He's dangerous. And the people closest to him 
know he's nuts and dangerous. And to be praising Adolf Hitler is dangerous and it's also disgusting. The former president has said he is going to be a dictator on day one. We cannot ignore that. Perhaps. I don't know John Kelly. I don't think I've ever even met him. Uh, he clearly has a deep disdain for Donald Trump and was fired by him. You also have the owner of the Atlantic magazine is a huge donor for Kamala Harris and a close personal friend. So I find that incredibly interesting. But and on on this kind of enemies within what President Trump actually said was if we have national unrest, if we have riots, if we have people uh, and law and order is broken down, then it is completely appropriate to use the military. The National Guard he's has been used, has been used about, throughout our history. He has named the Pelosi's he, congressman. Sure. He has named your colleague Adam Schiff. You had Adam Schiff on this network and many others lying to the American people, opening a hearing, lying to the whatever American people, saying that he had seen. But you raised him. Whatever. No, but whatever. And saying you he think had seen. No, saying he had seen evidence of Russian collusion that proved to be false and our country was in total chaos for two years on a hoax, Whatever which also you, affected our relationship with Russia. What, so that is an enemy within. What, wait, uh, and I don't see, think that he uh, said that he's gonna use the military to target him. He said in one part of the conversation, we have to quell riots and keep law and order. And if the military needs to support law enforcement, fine. And on the other hand, he said, we have people that are misleading it the American the public. Um, John Kelly was asked, he was asked, basically the guy just read the definition and was asked, do you think if Donald Trump falls within that? If I read to you the definition of a socialist, Jake, and said, do you think Kamala Harris falls within the definition of a socialist? You'd say, oh uh, yeah, she pretty much does. So if we're gonna take the you know uh, OED out and start looking up definitions, um, you know, I, I, I don't think it's very helpful. I don't think it's useful to brand people. If you are watching Kimmy, you will clearly understand what he meant. It was just like, oh, concerning the definition of a fussy, can you relate that to Trump? Before he came up with a story, yeah, Trump can be this, can be this, you know, relating to a definition. But the way the mainstream media picked this story up, Hmm. I understand that they will always look for things like this to bring down Trump to a level, but it has backfired. I show you the polls, how pulling market it is not going up, and Kamala is going down despite all this hit piece. Someone said on X that we should expect more <laughs> stories like this in the days ahead, that they'll be releasing some lies telling we should be ready for that. Who you voting for? Trump. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Harris thugs backwards, bro. What? Harris. Man, we not we not voting for that, man. We just voted for Trump, man. Why? Man, we not with none of that, man. Chuck be looking out for the black community, man. We ain't, we ain't doing nothing, yeah. like man. I respect. Respect. You all good, my boy. All right, man. Yeah. And who you voting for, Trump or Kamala? Man, Trump, we ain't... We brought up gender, right? Like, do you think yeah. it matters? that she's a woman and people aren't comfortable having a woman in a top leadership role? No, I don't no. think that because most men, they, they love their mothers. They love their wives. So yeah. mm -hmm. as a woman, most men, they respect the woman, but she just don't have the qualification or the education to really run America because she don't have the experience. When you look at critically, you realize this woman is slowly dying off. She can't even believe I'm in this hose that this is happening. People understand the politics behind. Don't mind what the mainstream media tells you every day, oh, she is winning. This is how you know the minds of people, not pools. Back the election, because she's very close to Trump. She's 30. A financial Republican. Do you remember Jewish girlfriend? Understand that there has never been a single day that this man can change. Hang on, Tim Walls. Look at what Democrat are experiencing. And, and sometimes there's a trend line that I never noticed before and make me go, whoa. You know, what you always say? Ah, you don't go What exactly, please? I want you to know. Drop on in the comment section. Trump's running mate. Same reason you don't throw a birthday party for Diddy. Hey, you're calling yourself. Well, this is the problem. Holmes Enterprise. If you are over 18, please register to vote for something else. It's are now stepping forward. 18 before. Trump. I don't care if they write that. No, it was right, and you got. I'm gonna shake it off. It's like 73% said they're voting for Trump. For Trump. Okay. Yeah. 
You hired me four times. I tell him, I'm like, I'll just pop. How dumb are you? <laughs>